I've been a blacksmith armorer for over 30 years. Pirates of the Caribbean, Doro, Blade. I've created weapons for over 200 feature films. This is Man at Arms. I'm making a full-scale template for the Adventure Time sword. So this guy's pretty simple, but we'll, we'll draw it out here. So the toy blade has a much smaller grip for children. The blade in the toy is 17 inches. 24 inches looks about right for me. I'm writing Adventure Time on the template just so I know which sword it is if I need to reproduce it in the future. I have hundreds and hundreds of templates all the way back to Hook in 1991. I don't normally work off of a toy. They normally make toys off of things I make. This is the children's sword. I'm going to scale it up for a real man right here. I'm now cutting out the blade profile on the bandsaw. I've nicked my finger a few times on the bandsaw, but I learned my lesson. <laughs> Surprisingly, I still have all my fingers. The forge is at about 2,500 degrees, and when I pull it out at a red heat, it's about 1,500. This power hammer is 134 pounds of falling weight, and I normally swing a two pound hammer, so that's equivalent to 70 times the strength that I normally swing. What I'm doing looks simple, but I've been doing it for 30 years. I took the rectangular piece of metal and then turned it into a circle, and the square piece into the cross guard or hilt. I'm now using the belt sander to grind bevels on the edge of the pommel. When I'm working on machinery like this, if I tell myself, don't hit myself in the thumb, don't grind my hand, I invariably will. Now it's on the vertical milling machine to mill the slot for the tank. I grind the swords with a progressively finer belt before I take it to polish. I have about 12 different types of belts that I use on my belt grinder, and each one has a different application. I'm using a lathe to drill a centered hole through the pommel, which I'll use on the milling machine with a counterbore to drill the seats for the gemstones. I'm cutting the glass for the Adventure Time sword on a six inch diamond saw. And I'm grinding the glass on a water-cooled lapidary diamond grinding wheel that will carve through anything. I'm putting the blade into an electric heat treating furnace and quench it in quenching oil to harden the steel. I want to give a black patina to the hilt and pommel, so I'm using a chemical that causes the steel to oxidize black color. I'm mixing a five minute epoxy to glue the gemstones in the pommel. The gold color on the blade is determined by the tempering temperature. I've had it in the oven at 385 degrees for five hours and that caused the blade to turn gold. I give it the notches and scratches on the blade. I finished up the details of the edge of the belt grinder. All pieces are together and the Adventure Time sword is complete. to brick <laughs> thanks for watching man at arms be sure to subscribe tell me in the comments what weapon you'd like to see next